Uh, hi. Today I'm going to be giving or showing you a small life hack with these Arduino Uno microcontrollers. This life hack is not exactly implementable while it's being in full time use as such. I mean, it's not necessary at that point, but when you're prototyping with the Arduino, here's a cool life hack which I can show you. Let's get started. Okay. So sometimes while we are powering the Arduino, we will most likely be using a power bank as a supply, especially a power bank like this, which has the pass through charge option. That is, it can charge simultaneously and discharge simultaneously, thereby providing an uninterrupted power supply like system to the Arduino. But the question is, is it actually very uninterrupted? Truth is, there is a small amount of interruption. Just see what happens when I unplug the charger. Okay, you see that the power bank switched off and then again switched on. Therefore, the Arduino also did the same thing. It switched off and switched on. Now, when I again connect the charger here, same thing happens. It switches off and suddenly switches on. So, which is why if you are coding the Arduino or if the Arduino is connected to something like a Bluetooth system, you know, it could result in some problems if this interruption takes place. Now, the question is, how do we avoid this interruption? Okay, so now what I brought here is a super capacitor bank, which I custom built. I got four of these 5 volt 1 farad super capacitors and connected them on this breadboard. I took individual jumper cables and connected them to the plus 5 volt and the ground, ground buses of the breadboard such that the output of this uh, four parallel capacitors can be obtained here. So how we can use this for our project is that you see the plus 5 volt and the ground pins on the Arduino, the plus 5 volt and the ground which will be connecting to our sensors and our displays and others. What we can do is add the super capacitor in parallel with this plus 5 volt and ground irrespective of whichever circuit we are building. Now that I don't have any specific circuit to show, I am going to um, show with this, uh, just this Arduino. Okay, so now what I have done is, I have connected the plus 5 volt and the ground pins of the Arduino to the output of this super capacitor. Basically, I have connected them in parallel with these two pins. So now notice what happens when I unplug this cable. No interruption. Now let me plug this in again. No interruption again. So what the supercapacitor is doing is it's offering that uh, um, protection against that voltage drop for the initial 0.5 seconds which is taken over by the switch over time of this uh, power bank which is why it really helps with the circuit. Now you need not connect this such a huge breadboard and so many super capacitors. Maybe one will do the trick very easily. 5 volt, 1 farad, one will do the trick. But if that doesn't do it, then you could add maybe one more super capacitor in parallel. And you need not make such a huge arrangement. Just add one parallel to your uh, 5 volt and ground. That is, let's say you connect one sensor's 5 volt and ground here, another sensor's 5 volt and ground here. You could just connect the super capacitor parallelly with it so that it can help in providing this type of um, a buffer over here. Okay, so here I've just assembled a small circuit on the Arduino. It's basically like a, a buzzer with two sensors combined in an OR condition. One of the sensor records a high output and the buzzer will beep. Yeah, this is the basis of the circuit and I have connected this super capacitor here. No need of four, one has been connected here parallelly. So let me just show you what happens when I unplug this power bank. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this with the output and uh, without output. Firstly, without output. Now the system is just idling and let me unplug the power bank. No interruption. No interruption at all. Power this again. No interruption again either. Let us test it with a load. So basically by load I mean like I'm just fixing, keeping this small breadboard in front of the sensor to get it to trigger. 
okay so now the buzzer is beeping and when the buzzer is beeping i'm unplugging continues to beep once again it continues there's no interruption of any sort so one of these super capacitors did the trick okay so these super capacitors are pretty easy to get on most of these online shopping websites like ebay or electronics comp or robo.in or most of these and it is not too expensive either for example one of these 5 volt 1 farad super capacitors comes for approximately around um, 80 rupees in india which is equivalent to around 1 us dollar and if you'd like to know as to how to connect this and how to observe the polarity then if you notice closely one side of the capacitor has this negative like symbol this is the negative terminal Similarly, flip it over, you see that this one resembles a slight positive. So, this is the positive of the supercapacitor. And if you look at it, the pin is all positive pin is also slightly longer than the negative pin. Now, do not take this as a reliable indicator because sometimes the pins can be chopped off to have a minimum level of uh, uh, length. So, this is like a better and a much reliable indicator. Another way of finding out the polarity is that you see that the arrow mark is going like this. These arrows indicate the direction of current and normally in any electronic circuit, the electrons will flow from the negative to the positive but the current will flow opposite of the electrons from the positive to the negative. So since current is flowing in this direction that is the positive to the negative, obviously the starting point is a positive and ending point is a negative. These are some ways in which you can identify the polarity of the supercapacitor. Do not connect them with the reversed polarity. They will not like it. They will blow up. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I am concluding this video for now. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next video.